So I guess this is the second part of my spiel over Finland and the TAD program. Um, where I left off was um, with high school care, and I basically summarized it then. Um, um, the high school system is kind of similar to ours, um, but foreign languages are stressed immensely. Everybody here in Finland, um, I guess more of the of last last generation and this generation, um, no English. So people who are maybe 30, 40 years old and younger speak English very well. And um, they spoil us by speaking English. And they get the opportunity to use English. That's what they, at least they tell us. Um, so Susie and I have not been learning Finnish as well as we could because um, when we're around people who can speak English, they get the chance to use their English and they like it and they speak English to us. Um, but we do use Finnish when we can. Um, our Finnish teacher, Heidi, is really nice. Um, she's giving us extra lessons and those are also paid for by the university because of the TAD program that's in our curriculum. Those are one of the classes that we need, the Finnish language, and Heidi is uh, taking her time to teach us more. We had the opportunity to go to go see her house um, just a couple of days ago, and um, it was really a nice house. It was um, if you guys know the brands, Mary Mecco. Mary Mecco is a huge um, Finnish brand down here, along with IKEA. We call it IKEA, but they call it IKEA. That's a Swedish. Sorry, that's a Swedish brand. But IKEA and Mary Mecco is what our house basically was designed around, it seemed. It was modern and very nice. And it was huge. You would, um, wouldn't believe how big the house was, um, when you looked out on the, on the outside. Um, I kind of went over a little bit of a, of a hill and a cliff. Lots of the house space was on the second, on, on the first basement level. And the view was fantastic. It's built by the lake. Um, she has a swimming place in the back. The yard is really landscaped well. Huge sauna. It's a very new house. But it's a very lovely house. And it's fun to see. Um, the food down here is incredibly good. I'm getting a double chin. Um, we went to our friend Sari's house and we made lunch together. Sari's been the best of 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 being so inviting to Susie and and me, along with a lot of the other friends like Saya and Nora, and Anu, and just everybody's been very inviting, but Sari has a couple of kids, very nice young boys, and um, and she is busy, and she takes a lot of her time, and it's fun to go to her house. We made lunch, we made, um, we made ch chicken fajitas, the Finnish way. And they were still very nice and really good. And we made gingerbread cookies. And um, went to a hockey game um, the day before. It was an exciting hockey game, too. We got in for free. Um, Heidi's husband was um, one of the founders for the free night, so we paid for everybody who was there for free. <laughs> the game was incredible. Um, Savinlina... The score was 3-1 to one for a long period of time. Then it went to 3-3. to three. Seven Lena was ahead. Tied. It tied one second on the clock. It was just fantastic. It was fantastic. I, thought, I told Susie, I, just, I said, I think this game's going to go into overtime. And it did. That's what happened last time I went to a game, maybe when I was nine years old. It went into overtime. At least it always happens with volleyball, volleyball games that we go to. So, overtime at one second on the clock, Savinlina won. 
it was really cool. And people got the hell out of there just like that. It wasn't any, like, reminiscing. <laughs> people just, people just it was like, whoa, and they left. It was a fun game. Um, finished chocolate is the best chocolate in the world. So, if you want to bring back anything special, um, bring back finished chocolate. Um, it's better than Belgian chocolate. Yeah, I said it, Belgians. It's better than your chocolate. It's a hell of a lot better. It's um, it's just really good. Um, the candy is really good down here too. But there's some awful candy over here too called Samayaki. It's a black, um, salty licorice hard candy, and uh, it's just. Everything you wouldn't expect from a candy. It's not even a candy. It's just a torture. <laughs> it's a torture foreigners, I think. Um, the city of Sabalina we live on is a connection of islands. And um, to get out of Sabalina, you usually take a train or a bus. And there's lots of little tiny towns and little tiny villages that you, would, you wouldn't you would think that are. Like if you see a house on the side of the road, it sounds like I'm going to sing Love Shack, but if you see a house on the side of the road, the roads usually wind all through these forests, and all you see is forests and trees, 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 trees. Um, around that area is probably a village. If you see a little bit of a collection of houses, if you drive on that road, it's probably a small town. Um, so if you look at a map of Finland, we're really close to the Arctic Circle. We're probably about 10 hours drive from the Arctic Circle. That's like from the eastern, far eastern part of um, Kansas, driving to Colorado. So it's not that far. Um, um, the biggest cities over here are Turku and um, Helsinki and um, Helsinki is in the, in the northern or southern most part of Finland so we're four hours train ride away it was I think we have I haven't been to Helsinki yet Susie's been close to Helsinki doing a marathon and um, it's pretty expensive to get places here um, I've said before in my in my Facebook videos, but the exchange rate down here is terrible when it comes to um, the U.S. dollar. We received we we received a scholarship of twelve thousand dollars to be over here for eleven months in Europe, and um, when you think about twelve thousand um, dollars, you need to remove about three thousand. Or maybe a little bit more. But, okay, I think about $4,000 when you, because it's about 40%. you got to remove about, yeah, 40% of, of um, that money, 30 to 40%, because everything is about 40% more expensive on the dollar over here. So if you were to buy... Um, a dollar's worth of goods over here, you'd spend a dollar forty. So, a dollar Snickers over here would cost a dollar forty. So, it makes you run out of, of money 40% faster. Fortunately, I think Hungary is going to be the opposite. Um, flights are less expensive from Hungary, so we could possibly go on a small trip. Um, food and the cost of living in Hungary is a lot less expensive um, than Finland. I bought some shoes down here and I ended up spending about 300 US dollars. My knees were hurting and I thought I need a good pair of shoes. I washed the other ones and they shrank and um, I also bought some insoles for them. And that's what I bought. And it turned out to be like 300 and something dollars with the exchange rate. I'm wearing them right now. Right there. 
So I'm getting good use out of those three hundred dollars shoes. Um, when I go back to the United States, I'm bringing back. Um, I'm gonna probably get some boots in the U.S. and get everything that I need for Hungary and Finland. Um, just to save money over here, it's expensive. Um, we're gonna be going home for Christmas. I'm very excited to see my family. I miss them. I miss them. Period. And um, and um, I'll be being, bringing back a lot of chocolate for Christmas gifts. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna say we come back. On uh, we we get to we leave we leave Finland on December seventeenth, and then we're going to the United States. So it'll still be the seventeenth of December. It's like we're going back in time, and then we come back to Finland on July or July January the seventh. There's going to be a lot of things to get done if you're part of the TAD program when you go back for Christmas time. It's, um, you have to get a lot of your financial aid stuff worked out during that break, and you got to meet with the teachers during that break. I, for one, have to buy my own, own insurance this time because the Obama plan will be expiring um, when I get back. Um, so I'll be 26 when I get back. Um, And then um, we have to do a lot of paperwork for Hungary. We got um, accepted into the schools, but we need to get a lot. We need to get our um, visas and passports. So that means we have to wait until break and do the paperwork over here, but get prepared for it over in the U.S. So it's an ongoing process. Um, so far, the classes over here have been relatively easy. Um, A big, a big difference from what we've known in Washburn so far, <laughs> where you're taking five, six classes at Washburn, including clinicals. You over here are taking like one, <laughs> and then doing a few clinical hours, and then doing some language hours. Um, you have to pass level three and finish over here, which is hard. It's hard. Um, the, just because the language is hard, you can't you can't pull from any Germanic languages, any English language, or any um, Romantic languages like French or Spanish. Finnish language is unto itself. Um, we passed level two. I passed by a hair, and now we have to pass level three, and then we will be done with learning what we need to know for this TED program. So, um, overall, I'd say that um, the program so far has been good. Um, always going to a different place makes you feel unsure, of course. It may makes you feel nervous, at least for me. Um, it makes you impatient at times, um, and at least for me, it's a, it's a, it's more than at times. It's um, it's scary. Um, I guess depending where you are in your in your life situation, um, um, if you're younger, this would be a great experience for you. If you're older, like me, you might have you might have some things to think about, like your career, your future, what you should feel like you should be doing at this time rather than being in another place, um, you know, getting your own insurance, getting prepared for the future, you know, things that we do in America, in America, what we worry about the most and what our problems in America are the most, they do hit home and they do um, creep into your mind, at least for me often because I'm 25. But if you're younger, this would be an amazing, amazing experience. Um, prepared, be prepared to walk a lot. Um, it's not a huge culture shock over here, here in Finland, but um, you can't wake up and hug your mom or dad or see your friends 
And I think that might be the hardest problem for anybody. So that's my update. Um, I'm sorry if it was boring and a lot of rambling, but now you know a little bit more about the TAD program and what we've been doing down here, up here, so far. So if you have any questions, go ahead and type them, and I will answer them because I have time. <laughs> I have time now. So you guys have a great day or night, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.